Welcome to Record Breakers, and today we've got a very special guest that I bet we can all look up to. He's one of the two finalists in the tallest man in the world competition. And he's going to be competing in the finals Saturday, so would you welcome everybody, Bud Ramsey. Hi, Tom. It's good to be here. Bud? Yeah. Have a, have a seat. Thank you. to say I was expecting someone quite a bit um, <laughs> taller. Uh, you'd be surprised how many people make that mistake, Tom. Don't feel bad. So how, uh, how tall are you actually? I'm 5'10", Tom. <laughs> you're 5'10", and you're one of the two finalists in the world's tallest man competition. It's been a real Cinderella story so far, and God willing, I'm going to take home the crown. Yeah. Uh, how exactly does the competition work then? Well, it's been uh, quite grueling, actually. What they do is they take what's called a tape measure. I've heard of it. And they measure you from the, your toes to the top of your head, and the taller person wins and advances in the tournament. And you are in the final. Yep, it's been a heck of a ride, let me tell you. Uh, wait a minute. I See, I don't think I understand. Now, how have you, a man of, well, let's face it, just over average height, managed to get into the finals of the world's tallest man competition. How'd that happen? I'd say hard work and dedication, Tom. That's what it all comes down to. I guess I just wanted it more. But, but you're only five foot ten. Well, it just shows that you can't measure the size of a man's desire. No. No, but I'll tell you something. You can measure the size of a man's body, and you are clearly not the world's tallest man. You know, people have been telling me that my whole life, Tom. But here I am. No! No, you are not the world's tallest man. Now, how can you be in the finals for the world's tallest man? I'm craftier than I look, Tom. <laughs> I am uh, very confused at this juncture, but let's throw this open for some calls. Shelly in Tacoma, you're on with Bud Ramsey, the tallest man in the world. Hi, Bud. It is such an honor to talk to you. Thank you. I mean, you proved to everyone that physical limitations shouldn't hold a person back. And that's my message, especially for the kids. I mean, a lot of people said that I was too old, too slow. Too short? Yes. Yes. Especially too short. But I've always been an overachiever. And through hard work and my faith in God, I have achieved what many thought impossible, and you can too. Dare to dream. You're an inspiration. Shelley, let me ask you a question. Doesn't it bother you that Bud here is clearly not the tallest man in the world? Not by a long shot? No, no. I think it just goes to show that a man doesn't have to be particularly tall to be the world's tallest man. Yes, he does! <laughs> the entire stinking point of being the world's tallest man is that he is extremely tall. Taller than anyone else, in fact. But this is America, and I believe that people can be anything they want to be. But you can't be the world's tallest man if you're not tall. Oh. But, but you've been a great inspiration to my son, too. He just worships you. Great. And what does your son want to achieve? He wants to be Miss Arkansas. <laughs> Well, good luck. I'll bet he makes it. Yeah, thanks for the call, Shelly. Well, Bud, you've got your big final match on Saturday. Who do you go up against? Uh, it's Zanu Zaporan from Senegal. Uh -huh. How tall is he? He's 8 feet 7 inches. <laughs> so he's nearly 3 feet taller than you. Mm, that's right. It's going to be very close. Bud, there's no way in hell you're going to win. Oh, he's clearly the favorite, but we'll see. I'll bet you a million dollars that you lose. You know what? I'll take that bet. I like it when people don't have faith in me because it gives me motivation. He's three feet taller than you! I'm going to have a heck of a day, that's for sure, but I'm confident that when I'm on my game, nobody can beat me. That's all the time we have for today. My guest has been Bud Ramsey, a finalist in the tallest man in the world competition, a man with clearly no chance of winning. Join us tomorrow when we'll have the world's oldest man and his father. Okay, that's it. I quit.